Hello, riders. It's Josh from CycleHunters.com. Yeah, look at that. Today we're checking out a 2022 Yamaha YZF-R3. Now, just looking at this bike, immediately, if you kind of look at the line of Yamaha sport bikes, this is... Is right in line with the current models in terms of the looks. Absolutely looks beautiful with that MotoGP inspired front end. Sort of looks like the R1, R6 kind of has that same ethos, if anything. It just has that same mentality as far as that racy, aggressive look. So overall, it definitely, I mean, it, it ticks that box uh, big time. It is really good looking. The paint on this is Yamaha Blue. Um, kind of see it a little bit right there. The other thing that's really interesting on this now, I don't know that I'm going to really be able to show this, but so that is black right here. You can see how that is. However, this, it is black, but there is a hint of sort of a blue tint to the black. I've never really seen that before. Now, I don't know if it's just my eyes, but when I look at this over here as well, you can kind of see it right there. I don't think it's the blue of the bike reflecting off of it because I can see it in different angles. So there's, whatever they did to that, it just kind of has the tiniest little hint. But it's a really nice touch. Very cool looking paint job that they have on this. The other thing about this is that uh, this also has the Akrapovich exhaust on it, which it really does sound great. It adds that little extra punch it, that... Everybody wants when you get a sport bike. Usually the first thing you do is just get an exhaust for it, which, in my opinion, the Akrapovichs are probably the nicest ones you can get. Bike is super clean. And as we get into this, you'll see. See how nice the wheels are. Parallel twin motor. 321cc parallel twin motor. This motor puts out 42 horsepower, 21.8 foot-pounds of torque, so more than enough for somebody to go ripping around town, even if you need to get on the highway, although it's not something that's made specifically for that and to be ripping around on the highways, you can. You can get going. It's going to do 55, 60, 70. That's not going to be an issue. However, when you really want to start traveling, that's when you want the bigger bikes, but for a commuter... That gets 56 miles per gallon, especially with the gas prices that we're dealing with today. It's hard to beat it because not only you get good power out of the 321cc motor, but you also get uh, the range and the longevity. So your tank of gas is going to go for quite a while. Unless you're really, really ripping it with the throttle handle. So again, walking around the bike can see the way that the tail is set up here you got the little license plate light on there everything looks really good there's this little odd thing right there on the seat I don't know what that is but there it is just showing it to you all right it's a double overhead cam motor like I said so you're gonna have good power Good throttle response. It's a really great, fun bike to ride. No doubt about it. A little bit of some scratch up top there. Other than that, it's pretty nice. Six-speed, wet clutch. So, you're not going to tax it. You're not going to be revving it too hard, like if it were only a five. But again, really nice shape. Really good condition. Oh, that look looks so cool so controls on this bike pretty straightforward stuff here so you have your little headlight flasher up here your your high beam low beam your turn signal indicator selector left right and it's all right there on the dash like that. You can see how your lights are set up over here. A little 
uh, there's a little engine light down there oil neutral TFT screen centrally located tack digital tack your gear selector Let's see how you can there's your gear selector your speedometer to the right and your gas gauge underneath that temperature gauge underneath your gear selector where your clock is underneath there and your odometer which this bike's only got 6705 miles so really really low mileage for the bike it's in great shape a couple little blemishes here and there you can see up on the triple tree there's some a little bit of scuff in there and it's mostly because keys flopping around that's what happens up top other than that, it's kind of it. Not a whole lot. You have your signal light over here, high beam, low beam, and your ABS light, which the ABS light, once you get going, that goes away. And that's pretty much par for the course for ABS bikes in general. I don't know if we have to have this on, which we might. Yeah, we do. We have to turn the bike on to get the high beam, low beam going here. Which, we'll do that in a second. Now, this is going to be left front turn signal left rear and get cancel do right up oh, horn here's your right rear right front let's go ahead and cancel that and start the bike up so we can hear this cool a crop of its pipe cold start fires right up you can hear it lumping away like a parallel twin does but this is why you get the acropovich <laughs> yeah. oh that's got the heart of a racer boy i'll tell you it does have it let's look at the lights quick here High beam, low beam, high beam, low beam. Now this is the flasher. So that little button I was showing you, that's how you flash. Hey, I'm coming through. Oh yeah, that's just cool. <laughs> it sounds good. Listen, back in the day, in the early, what is it, mid-80s, mid I think is when it was, when the RG250 Gamma came out from Suzuki. They were making smaller bikes back then for a little time. And then they got big, and the horsepower wars came in. And next thing you know, everybody's on a 1,000, and, you know, the small bike sort of got left kind of in the dark. And all of a sudden, we see this resurgence of these smaller displacement bikes because... They are a ton of fun, and you don't have to go ripping. You don't really need all this power. And today's modern technology, the lighter machines, these guys have made bikes so potent with the smaller displacement, you don't really need all that big power, unless you really want it. Now, this is foot brake, and here's hand brake. There you go. But... Again, the whole idea is, is, I mean, especially if you're somebody that's learning, this is an awesome bike. It's not something you're going to want to get rid of anytime soon. Again, unless you really feel the need that you need all that extra power, which, I mean, you jump to a 600 from this, that's going to really show you there's a big difference. But these are so fun, great for commuting. If you want to just take some small little trips, you can absolutely do that. But this thing is designed so that you can commute on this bike, save gas, look great while doing it, and just really have a lot of fun. And you know how this is. This is all about having fun and smiles. It's, it's, it's what we do. Now, every bike gets a battery tender. We have a 48-point checklist that we use on every bike. So oil filter, those are basic things. We service these bikes as best as we possibly can so that when you get it, it's as close as we can make it to 100%. So being it that it is a used bike, you're going to have some of these issues here and there, little scratches, scuffs. That's how it works. But oil filters, basic stuff, like I said, we go through them as best as we can. So when you get the bike, it's ready to ride. Not much you got to do other than jump on it, thumb the starter, and enjoy your day. 
It's really what it comes down to. So all in all, just a lot of fun. And it's, again, it just looks menacing. They look like a real, you know, full-on leader bike race bike. But it doesn't have all that insanity in terms of the power. But listen, don't let that fool you. It's got power. It's got enough to get you going, to have some fun, to really just enjoy the ride. And if you are somebody that's learning, this is a really great bike to do that on. For sure. So if you're digging the 2022 Yamaha YZF R3, give us a call at 717-273-1809. You can see the full list of our current inventory at www.cyclehunters.com. You can email us at cyclehunters at gmail.com. We do have some financing options available. We ship bikes. In some cases, we can deliver them. We have after, uh, aftermarket warranties available. It just kind of comes down to what is it that we need to do in order for you to have that gorgeous bike in your garage waiting for you so that when it's time to go ride, she's looking at you ready to go and it's all about just giving you some happiness, some smiles on your way to work, on your way home. You kind of look forward to it. Maybe look for excuses to go ride. That's sort of what I wind up doing, but... Yep, I'll go run and go grab some stuff at the store real quick. Let me hop on the bike and get going. And for a little commuter like this, it's great. Really a fun bike. You're going to have a lot of fun. Gorgeous bike. I think when I, the weight of this is 370 pounds. It's 375 pounds soaking wet, so not a very heavy bike. Anybody can jump on it. You're going to learn quick. And for anybody that's got experience that just wants a small commuter, well... This is going to do it in a lot of style. Look at that. Aggressive looking front. So give us a call. Like and subscribe. Thank you guys so very much. Share the video. But until the next bike, happy riding.